So I recently watched Freebirds and I'm very excited to talk about it. Here, actually, let me get my review script. Freebirds is a cinematic masterpiece with great writing and excellent storytelling. So great, in fact, that us mere mortals cannot understand its greatness. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. I, I misread it here. It actually says this. Yeah, this film was just a mess. The concepts have potential, but everything just missed the mark, and I want to explain why. Writing. The writing of Freebirds fails because it is too on the nose. It feels like the movie is talking down to you instead of letting you interpret the character's thoughts and actions. The writing also breaks a major rule of filmmaking, show don't tell. For anyone who doesn't know, show don't tell basically means that in a movie, you need to show the audience your story instead of telling them. Because films are a visual form of storytelling and it affects the audience more this way. For example, if there was a massive earthquake that killed a ton of people, telling this to the viewer through expository dialogue wouldn't mean much. But show this through the eyes of, let's say, one of civilians that lived where, the earth, where this earthquake took place. It would stick with us, the audience, longer and it would affect us a lot. Freed's Birds, however, goes against this important rule. This can be seen by the inclusion of a narrator in the beginning of the film. Now this might seem like a small detail, but I despise narrators in movies. They can work, but most of the time they are just a lazy form of storytelling. It is also incredibly unnecessary in this movie, because everything the narrator says can be seen on screen. Animation There isn't much to say in this category, but the animation comes off as cheap. I don't have a problem with the bird characters, because they look the best in the film. They are colorful and pleasant to look at. Everything else is the problem, especially humans. It is quite hard to explain, but something about the human characters are just so ugly. They are the exact opposite of the bird characters, in which they aren't pleasant to look at in the slightest. Comedy Comedy usually ties in a little bit with the writing, but I still have some stuff to add here. Like most things related to this movie, the comedy doesn't work. For example, sometimes jokes have potential, but they usually go on for too long. This makes the joke drag and come off as annoying instead of its intended purpose, which is, you know, to be funny. Also, a lot of the jokes in this film are just not that clever or very dumbed down. Now, some people believe that this is okay because the film is made for kids, but like I have stated in previous videos, I don't think that's an excuse. Let's look at a great example of comedy, Spongebob Squarepants. Due to the amazing writing blessed onto this show, most, if not all the jokes can appeal to anyone. The show might be aimed towards a younger audience, but even parents can get a few chuckles sitting down and watching with their children. Even I, a person who has watched the series millions of times, still finds it amusing to watch. I'm not saying comedies can't have a target demographic, but this could have been so much more. Okay, I'll give Freebirds some credit. There was one scene that I thought worked in the comedy department, and it was this. Control, we have a contaminant in chamber 47. Copy that, wood type agent. Uh, turkey, sir. That is very weird, agent. Copy that. How do we address it, sir? Uh, with cranberry sauce. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> but seriously, we should deal with the contaminant. Pacing. This movie felt way too rushed. Every scene seemed to just fly by, and not in the fun type of way, and in turn left no time for important stuff when it comes to filmmaking. Stuff like character development and emotional moments are thrown out of the window due to this problem, and that's not a good thing. I don't give two cents for anyone in this film because I don't have time to understand and learn more about him. Everyone is incredibly two-dimensional. This in turn also hinders the writing, which, like I've said before, was already bad to begin with. Freebirds doesn't work on so many levels. It's a movie that I think is a perfect example of everything you shouldn't do with a film. The company that made this, Real FX Studios, has only made three films, including Freebirds. And I haven't watched the others, but they haven't left a good first impression. Anyways, I'm gonna go try to forget this movie because it left a poor taste in my mouth. And on that note, thanks for watching.